Hey everyone, welcome back to Oxstream. Today we are going to dive into implementing skeleton loading in React Native using Expo Skeleton Loading. Skeleton loaders are a fantastic way to keep users engaged by showing a placeholder while our app is in loading state. So let's jump right into it. First step is to uh, just set up an Expo project. We have already this project set up on your machine. If you don't know how to set up React Native or Expo project, you can just follow along. I have a video tutorial already already uh, published on YouTube, and the link will be popping on the right corner of your screens. So here we have this beautiful Netflix UI, and in this UI we will be just implementing the skeleton loader. So for example, we have uh, this movie item. For example, if this item is fetched from an API, so it will take some uh, amount of time in fetching the data from the network call. And uh, during that time, this uh, element will not be rendered here. So uh, to show a loading item, a skeleton loader that most of the modern apps implement today, uh, so we will use that skeleton loader here in place of this item till then for this thing we will be using a package called expo skeleton loading this is a lightweight package and it will not uh, affect the uh, performance of your app in any way so here uh, there is a detailed documentation written how to use this package so first things first we will need to install this uh, expo skeleton loading so for that command is npm install expo skeleton loading so we will install this package first if you are using a bare react native project then the uh, implementation steps are same just we have to use the package react native skeleton loading in that case so let's uh, install this expo skeleton loading so the loader is set up now we will just start our bundler for the skeleton loader we will be just making another file and name it as skeleton.js and here we will be just implementing the logic of the skeleton loader we'll call this component in app.js so when we see the documentation the next step is to just import the skeleton loading component from the library so in the skeleton.js file we'll import this plugin and its implementation step is quite simple we just have to call the skeleton loading component and we have to give it a background and a foreground color so that during loading time how it will translate from uh, these colors background will do for now we will give it a background of and i think the other prop is the for highlight and highlight we will give it so in this skeleton loading component we will be mimicking this design for each element so that each element has a separate loader for it so we'll just reload this app so here we have two elements first one is the image on the left hand side and from the right hand side there is few text lines so we will have a skeleton element for each of them for example for the image we will be having a view and we will define its style and in style we will give it a width that will correspond to the width of the image and also the height will be similar 
सो वी हैव अ विड्थ ऑफ 120 एंड हाइट ऑफ 180 एटी विड्थ ऑफ वन एंड हाइट ऑफ 180 एटी एंड वी विल हैव अ बॉर्डर रेडियस रेडियस फॉर द एलिमेंट एज 15 and do remember to give it a background color to make it filled otherwise the skeleton loader will not be displayed for this element we can have any background color for example red and we have to reload this thing first to see the changes you can see that a skeleton loader is used in its place so i think we will be using a darker background color of because this is not visible you can see the skeleton loader is being displayed correctly on the right side a bit darker color to look, look it much nicer so now we have an element in place for the image and now from the right hand side we'll create another view to have the loaders for the text elements so in this view we'll be having another view to hold the heading of the movie and we will give it a style and we will give it a width of 300 a height of 3 and do remember to give it a background color background color of red so we have to enclose all of these inside of a row because this is a row style flex direction of row and inside this row we will be having these two elements we'll be having these two elements when we save it you can see the uh, loader for the head heading is also displayed on the right side let's increase its height so that it's more visible give it a height of 5 and we will just decrease its width from 300 to 200 and we will give it a margin margin left of 25 and we'll give it align items to center so now we have a loading element in place of this title now for the description we will have we will be having another set of these elements these lines so for that we will copy the heading and we will paste it multiple times and we will just adjust the width accordingly like you can see that the skeleton loader for the description text also in place we can copy this more times so that it looks much nicer so like this now for these uh, category items we will also be having two skeleton loaders in place for them for that we will create another view and give it a flex direction of row
and we will copy one among them and we'll paste it right here we will give it a width of 50 i guess and a height of 10 and we also give it a border radius of 5 and a margin right of 10 and its parent for its parent we will give margin top of 25 and we will increase its height to 20 so that it looks rectangular much rectangular and we will just copy and paste this to for another element now you can see that we have perfectly mimicked the uh, a skeleton loader as the view that we are being presented with so now to just uh, show this skeleton loader uh, only when the app is in loading state we will mimic that loading state for that we will just create we will create a state variable called loading And initially when the app will load we will keep this loading state as true here we are not making uh, a network call but we can just mimic this network call by giving it a timeout and after a certain timeout we will just uh, make this loading element to disappear for that we will use react dot use state and inside of this use state and inside of this use state we will set a timeout function we will set a timeout function and inside of this set timeout function we will keep this set timeout function running for 5 seconds and after 5 seconds are over we will set loading to false and inside of the view we have to now conditionally render this list item and skeleton loader so for that we will have a ternary operator where we will check for loading state so if we have loading then we will be presented by this skeleton loading like this skeleton and if we don't we are not in a loading state then this list item will be displayed now we have to just save this element and on the top of this we have to remove this skeleton element so we have to save this element and now reload the app so let the app load you can see that we are presented by a loading skeleton loading component for a five second and after five seconds are over we are presented by this list view so in this way you can just mimic any design of your choice uh, that uh, is represented in your app and make a skeleton loader for your component and that's it now you have a fully functional skeleton loader in your expo app skeleton loaders are a great way to improve the user experience by making loading states more visually engaging thanks for watching if you found this video helpful be sure to like subscribe and share this video and do let us know in the comments what other tutorials you like to see until next time Happy coding.